collector. All right, I'm doing this uh, quick video just to show just to show you an example of how I'm running um, using my um, my hard drive and some of the how organized basically how organized the hard drive with my files for the Wii games and for Game Key games. Okay, let me jump into here we go. All right, basically this is my hard drive here. And this is how I have it. I have three folders in there. I have a games folder, saves folder, and WBFS folder. The games folder. Hold on, let me move this shit around over here. Okay, the games folder is going to be all the GameCube games. And as you can see, I have all the GameCube games here. Let's say we go to X Men Legends. What you do is, whenever you download your game, you're going to keep the ISO file okay you're gonna make a folder like this one with the name of the game X-Men Legend boom and then inside that folder you're gonna put the ISO file you download it you're gonna name it game G-A-M-E once you do that you name it game and you put it inside that folder and whatever game it is if it's Wolverine Revenge same thing. I downloaded it. The ISO file, disk image file, the ISO file. I named it game, and then I put it inside its folder. Okay, you do that to all the GameCube games. If you don't do this to the GameCube games, they won't work. It's very simple. Once you download them, you extract them because you always gotta extract them, or you gotta take out the file from the from the folder you download. So you extract it. Once you get the ISO, the disk image file, once you have that file, you name that file game, you make a folder for it with the name of the game, and then that's it. And then in your SD card, micro SD card, with your adapter, or your hard drive, you're going to make a games folder, and you're going to put all those games. Okay? That's for the GameCube games. The saves folder, that Wii's going to make it by itself. It's basically just going to be all the save files for the GameCube games. Remember, all the Wii games, they save like a regular disc. They save on the memory of the Wii, on the little blocks. Alright, these are all the Wii games, the WBFS files. So WBFS files, I made a folder. And in that folder, I have the name of a folder with the name of the game. And it's game code. The game code are going to be specific for each game. That's the way the USB loader is going to be able to read the games. You have to put those little bracket things here. You put the little brackets and you put the code in there and you put the bracket on the other side. You have to do it like that in between it. Alright, so once you do that, you make a 007 quantum folder with the game code. And then if I go in it, you see the game code again, dot .wbfs with the WFS file. Alright, so basically, just do the same thing for all of them. You go this one, name of the game, those little brackets, code name, bracket, inside that folder, you're going to see the WBFS file named the name the game code name dot WBFS and that's how you do it guys remember some of these games are going to be different sizes depending where you're downloading them from I had to download a lot of times I had to download multiple times because this game is small it's 1.4 gigabytes megabytes whatever it turns into 1.4 gig so sometimes when you're downloading games if they're gonna be like let's say like look uh let me see let me see let me see a big game let me see I think got uh, bully bully is the big game Bully is what? 3.4. So it's almost 
it's almost 3.3 gigs size. So if you're in a website where you see Bully and you can download it and you start downloading it and when you see the progress of the download you see that you're only downloading 1.5, 1 1 1.7 gigs it's going to be an incomplete games. A lot of times those games will show you pop them on the USB loader and once you load them they go into a black screen or they'll just don't load or the or the basically the loader will just try to load the game and it'll go back to the load up screen to select another game so alright guys so keep that in mind whenever you download them it, trust me it wasn't easy to download all these games a lot of these I had to download multiple times because they wouldn't work or they wouldn't start so it's it's not a you know it's not exact science right here you know you kinda gotta try but if you do this you organize them like this you guys see me all the time I'm always going live playing random games I'm always using the USB loader GX and I'm using my hard drive so it's doable guys it's doable you just gotta be patient uh, I would suggest start uh, with like a couple games at a time don't put too many games in your WBS folder don't do like me and you know have everything just do one at a time do a couple at a time make sure they work make sure they load up and then once you go from there you, you'll start you'll start getting the hang of it guys it's not hard All right. thanks for watching guys my dog is going crazy now alrighty he's saying goodbye guys don't forget to subscribe like share and if this was helpful for you please help me out with a sub thanks